Hi guys, um, just a quick um, video today for the um, for the update by the ADC for the new system of the practical exam. Um, so I'll just we'll go through some of the some of the the things that are new on the system. They mentioned that they um, they actually will do new format starting from the practical exam in July um, and they published yesterday a new interim handbook uh, which gives some idea about the new format um, some of the things are still not not very clear um, they mentioned that they will publish and the final handbook will be on uh, mid mid uh, this year mid 2018 and we will be waiting for that to know uh, more details about what they are going to do so um, just starting from what's actually what's different um, now the exam will be um, the same as the difference is that they will include OSCE stations in the exam so they mentioned that it will be two days exam one day will be nearly the same as the current one which will be um, tasks but it's only will be only one day which is they call it the technical day so you will be required to do two consecutive days one is technical day doing the tasks that we are now doing in the current exam uh, but you will be required to do only six tasks on on a mannequin so these six tasks will be nearly half of the required tasks the required tasks for now and um, it will include cavity preparation restoration and uh, endo task and also will include the, um, the crown preparation still not very clear what they will exactly include but you you should be prepared for all the tasks so you still have to train yourself to be prepared for all the tasks because any of them can actually come um, they might bring a bridge fixed bridge instead of the crowns of two separate crowns which is not very difficult but you need just to train yourself about the just the special things about the path of insertion of the bridge and how to do a temporary bridge um, so it's not that difficult so the technical day is nearly the same as what candidates are doing now however it's a little bit different that that, that you, you don't know exactly which tasks are going to come in your day so you need to be prepared for any of the tasks but still in typodont it's still on mannequin still on the same kind of teeth that you are doing most probably it will still be the same criteria as the current one which they didn't mention the criteria in the interim handbook but it should be mentioned on the final one so these these are the similar things um, the, the, the actually the new the new thing is the totally new thing is the OSCE stations um, OSCE stations they mentioned that will be nearly 10 OSCE stations each one maybe 10 or 15 minutes and this will be on the on the other day so you will be required to pass both days in order to actually pass the exam um, so for the OSCE station many many candidates get I mean shocked surprised about that I am actually I, I also I was surprised in the beginning but usually I mean it's it's OSCE station is not actually that difficult I appeared in in, in MGDF exam uh, before in UK and OSCE stations was actually part of the exam which was the, actually the easier part of the exam OSCE stations are not are not actually difficult uh, they give some examples on it but you need to be prepared and oriented there is some studying will be needed how to study how to take um, what's the protocol to take uh, what the steps when you take a history from a patient um, diagnosis and treatment planning uh, stuff like that also like to uh, study medical emergencies how to deal with medical emergencies in dentistry so all these stuff 
needs a bit of revising to make sure that you will be up to date also along with the guidelines in Australia I mean the guidelines of uh, CPR the guidelines of infection control for sure the guidelines of any guidelines that here that can be used in in the patients you need to be prepared for them and we I, I will try for sure to provide I mean more details about what we are going to do about that in the future also if we have any materials that we can share with the candidates which will actually help for the for, for the OSCE so we are not sure yet they give some examples about the OSCE um, you can revise them on the on the handbook including the same as what I, I mentioned medical emergencies taking history from patient they will do also they, they move the rubber dam and infection control and um, the communication to be part of the uh, clinical day not the technical day however still you will be monitored for infection control for the for the for the for the technical day because infection control for sure is something that you need to be um, aware of and following it properly um, so yeah this is pretty much all the most of the I mean the changes that they did um, they changed the criteria not much I mean uh, I mean the criteria to assess each task um, from ideal to very good but it's the same still the same thing um, yeah for the they, they didn't actually give details about how many tasks if if you pass on how many of the OSCE you will pass the OSCE how many of the tasks when you pass on the technical day if you pass like four of six that will be pass or not so they didn't actually mention about that but I expect that they will give more details about this passing criteria uh, when when the final handbook um, be uh, available um, the last thing candidates was asking also about the, the what's also changed that they changed in the in the new center in Melbourne the exam will be conducted there and they will provide all the materials and the instruments um, and they said that you shouldn't bring any thing with you at all I think also maybe the bears they didn't mention anything about the bears whether you you have to you have to bring it or or you can't bring it so I'm not sure about that but I think maybe they will provide also a bear uh, kit for every candidate so you have all you have only to bring your eye protection and if you are using any dental loops other than that um, you shouldn't bring anything to the center um, that's most of the changes uh, they started to get to uh, send emails to candidates to let them know where when will be their booking time so they 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 divided them into groups and every group should book in a specific time so check your email check the f your friends if they already received and uh, according to that you have to apply in a specific period and then they will let you know when is uh, when will be your exam so um, good luck with all um, we'll come with more information whenever we uh, have more details from the ADC and uh, we'll also will uh, we'll keep you updated about the OSCE and how to deal with them uh, we'll keep you also updated with what are the sources that will help you to uh, be I mean oriented for the OSCE because OSCE stations needs I mean competent and competent clinician so if you are uh, a competent clinician with some experience you will be able to pass the the OSCE stations it's not difficult it just need a um, bit of preparation and orientation and uh, yeah th that's 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 all about the OSCE just need a little bit of um, training as well so let me know if you have any questions if anything please put put them on the comments and uh, for for new updates about the ADC please follow my page um, ADC pass and um, also join the group 
AD, ADC Pass Dr. Muhammad Suleiman Group and you can follow me also on YouTube my YouTube channel is also under my name Muhammad Suleiman okay have a nice day and good luck to all bye